Banker Commercial Fisher Group is proud to be listing one of the most innovative premier warehouse spaces on the market in southern Minnesota. Uh, this is a multi-tenant building for uh, distribution or even light manufacturing operations. Uh, the current owner and the current one of the current tenants are completely open to discussing and accommodating your space arrangement and your needs. Uh, whether you're looking for maybe f just 5,000 square foot for uh, simple warehousing. Uh, maybe you're even looking for uh, something larger, maybe in the range of a 15,000 to 25,000 square foot uh, distribution or light manufacturing operation. Uh, or even if you're looking for something larger still, uh, potentially a f up to a 40,000 square foot headquarters for your uh, operations. Uh, all of these are on the table um, and uh, both the existing tenant and the uh, property owner uh, are willing to discuss these options with you. So regardless of whatever your needs are, uh, this space uh, has opportunities for you and gives you a state-of-the-art facility that I'm going to describe right now. So, so this space has a lot of potential to it for a variety of arrangements, but let me first start out by explaining the building in its entirety. The building has a total of 19 delivery bays. Uh, they have uh, dock lock retention systems for the trailers, and it even has um, a what's called a J-hook uh, docking pad, which is one going to help prevent heat loss uh, in the winter, but it's also going to wrap around the interior of your trailers as they dock uh, and help to prevent any birds from flying between the trailer and the uh, docking bay, thus getting into your facility. Um, beyond that, the, the docking bays themselves are self-leveling, uh, so they can uh, m make the transom into and out of the trailer much easier. Uh, they uh, all come with uh, safety warning lights, both on the self-leveling portion uh, and around the door, so you're going to see a red-green system that will uh, all come together to help make uh, things much safer for the employees that you have stationed inside of this facility. To safeguard uh, the product and your operations within the building, the building does have a full security system, uh, including motion uh, detection, uh, video surveillance, uh, and even uh, touchpad, keypad entrance uh, entrances at the, the doors uh, to let people in and out. There is a dual system for heating the building, including uh, radiant heat uh, running along the docking bays uh, to give you a little boost where you're going to need it the most, and an, uh, an air exchange unit uh, that helps to heat the remainder of the, the facility. And another great uh, feature of this building is the sprinkler system. Um, it's great because in many uh, warehouse buildings, you're not allowed to put the uh, stack product too close to the ceiling because there needs to be space for the sprinklers to work. In this building, they have what is the ESFR sprinkler system. And what that means is you can stack product virtually all the way up to the, the ceiling and in doing so you get to maximize uh, the use of your space in this property. So moving beyond the property as a whole, I want to describe the two different spaces that are in this uh, facility. Uh, the one space which is currently, um, currently used by a tenant um, is a space that has around a uh, little over 22,000 square feet of warehouse space, um, uh, about 13 docking bays on that side, and uh, an office segment that is uh, a little over 4,200 square feet of office space. Uh, this is currently being uh, leased by a tenant, but uh, the tenant is open to swapping spaces uh, if the larger space would suit your needs better. Um, as mentioned before, if the entire facility is something that you're looking for, uh, then we can discuss that with the owner and the current tenant. 
Now, in looking at just the vacant space, there is uh, in excess of 18,900 square feet of warehouse space. Uh, this can be a flexible use space for warehousing, uh, distribution, even light manufacturing. Um, and in this side, uh, there are seven docking bays. Um, all of them are uh, 9 by 10. And you have multiple entrances uh, into the facility, uh, one in between the docking bays, one uh, adjacent to uh, the two offices that are built into the facility uh, specifically for use in this side. Uh, that's about a total of, of about 312 or so square feet of office space. Uh, inside there, there is a caged uh, entrance, so you can come in, enter into the first building, and um, not have access access to the full facility uh, until you're uh, let in. Um, beyond that, again, it has the same dual heating system, has the same sprinkler system that allows you to maximize your use of the space. And uh, if you're needing uh, a little extra office space or office space that is uh, has a few more um, amenities to them like uh, a lunchroom and uh, access to a conference room. The existing tenant uh, in the building is willing to do a shared use uh, with uh, some office space and then the ability to use some of their conference facilities and even their lunchroom if that's something that you so need. Furthermore, the building has currently got uh, branding for the existing tenant and the property owner is very willing to let uh, additional signage uh, be placed up uh, onto the building uh, to complement uh, what's already there. Uh, this branding faces uh, both to the entrance off the city streets, uh, but it also faces onto uh, U.S. Highway 14, uh, which sees substantial traffic uh, on a daily basis. So regardless of whether you're looking for a small uh, warehousing space uh, in the 5,000 square foot range or whether you're looking for a larger manufacturing, distribution, warehousing facility uh, anywhere from 5,000 on up to 40,000 square feet plus uh, including uh, uh, corporate offices and headquarters space as well. Uh, this is a flexible use space and the existing owner and tenant are willing to work with uh, anybody and see if we can accommodate your needs.